Hi, welcome back. This is my Oneida V-System Central Dust Collector. It's a Cyclone. And this is the pleated filter. Now, it usually works really well, except if I'm using the thickness planer and not paying attention. And the drum, 40-gallon drum, overfills, and it starts to fill this pleated cylinder with chips. Then it's a real problem, because you've got to take it apart, and cleaning it is an absolute mess. It creates a uh, cloud of smoke that engulfs the neighborhood. So I'm trying to avoid that. I think there's a fix for it. Oneida makes a warning system. And let's take a look at that and let's install it. So this is the dust sentry bin level sensor that I received from Oneida and I looked online for better prices and believe it or not Oneida going straight to the company had the best price significantly less than eBay or other sources so it comes with a number of things a warning light which is good a transformer here this is the sensor the infrared sensor we'll take a close-up look at that a plug for the um, for this uh, unit here, the transformer, and then some grommets and some caps. And this can be either installed permanently or it can be installed so that you can remove it. So I kind of think we'll have it so we can remove it because I do change the dust bin frequently when it when it gets full. So this is the infrared sensor and it does have an adjustment but it's already been pre-adjusted at the factory so I think we'll keep it there this has got a threaded end through which this nut can be through which this nut can be screwed which is on the inside of the drum but we're gonna we're gonna basically put it through this grommet so it can be removable so they recommend that you test this out because they'd like to see this sensor go off when you're four to six inches away from it, which would basically be a fairly full bin. So we'll plug this in. And okay, we're going to see when the light starts to flash. So there, I'm, I'm kind of far away. Let's do this so you can see it. All right, so we're going to we're going to turn it toward the plus sign a little bit. A little bit more. Too close. That's pretty good. So that's how we adjust it with this small little screw. You can see now we're there and when we're further away, it stops. As we get closer, it'll start to blink, which warns us, hey, your bin's getting full, better stop. So to drill a hole in the metal um, lid, you could use a twist bit, but I think it would really tear things up. So I'm going to use this 7 8 inch hole dozer by Milwaukee. This should really take care of it. This should do a good job. Really well made. All right. So I'm picking a convenient location here because I've got outlet here and I can put my warning light here and be easily visible throughout the shop. So here we go. We're going to put it about in the middle here. And that's it. Boy, when you've got good equipment, it really, <laughs> really does a good job. So we'll put this away. And we'll fit that grommet in there and the installation will be complete. 
Okay, we'll see if we can put this in here. Typically you fold these. Just slowly advance it. And son of a gun, there it is. And into that, the sensor will go. Cool. So that'll be the install. There it is, fully installed. Now we'll mount the light, tidy up the cords, and be on our way. Well, look what's going on. I just installed it, and the light's flashing. So let's look in the bin and see, what's, see what the deal is. Let's zoom down here to this bin. I thought, wait a minute, it's malfunctioning. There's something wrong. But then, <laughs> look. When I lifted it up, it's full. So good job, Oneida. We're gonna clear this out clearly and be thankful that uh, we've got this sensor. So there's the installation for the Oneida sensor to prevent our bins from overflowing. It looks like it works well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please stay safe.